The top 35 most expensive military drones. Institute Scan Eagle. Boeing's subsidiary institute created the Scan Eagle as a small, low altitude, long endurance drone used primarily for reconnaissance. The unmanned aerial vehicle stands roughly 5 feet tall with a wingspan over 10 feet. In addition to reckon efforts, it also aids to US Navy, US Marine Corps and Australian Army in search and rescue, wildlife monitoring, border control, battleground damage and more. Its operating empty weight is 35 pounds and it has a flight life of over 24 hours. Perhaps its greatest asset, additionally it flies to altitudes of nearly 20,000 feet and reaches 92 miles per hour horizontally. The Institute Scan Eagle costs 800,000 per unit. The Shengdu Pterodactyl One, classified as a male UAV, medium altitude, long endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle, the Pterodactyl One is also known by the title Wing Lung. Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, makers of premium Chinese fighter jets as well as other aircraft, produced the Pterodactyl One to excel in aerial reckon. Weapons can be attached if necessary, but this military drone is designed almost exclusively for imaging. It is about 30 feet long with 46 foot wingspan and stands roughly 9 feet tall. The Pterodactyl 1 has a maximum speed of 180 miles per hour, reaches a maximum altitude of 16,500 feet and can remain in the air for almost a full day of 20 hours. The Chengdu Pterodactyl 1 costs $1 million per unit. The Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie Initially designed as the XQ-222, the Valkyrie UCAV unmanned combat aerial vehicle completed its first flight in March of 2019 as the XQ-58 Valkyrie. It is designed by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions as a force multiplier underneath the US Air Force Research Laboratory's LCAAT portfolio. LCAAT stands for Low Cost Arthritable Aircraft Technology. The XQ-58 Valkyrie is meant to accompany a F-22 Raptor or a F-35 Lightning II on a combat mission as a loyal wingman, scouting ahead of the fighter or even taking a hit from enemy fire, if necessary. The XU-58 is roughly 28 feet long with a wingspan of 22 feet. This thing is fast, it can reach speeds of almost 700 miles per hour along its 2500 mile flight range. The Kratos XU-58 Valkyrie costs 3 million per unit. The Aeronautics Defense Dominator XP. Straight from the horse's mouth, ADS says Dominator XP medium altitude long adjoins UAS serves as a strategic asset providing comprehensive IS air missions at ranges beyond line of sight. Dominator mission system is characterized by a multi-purpose payload such as EO, SAR, ELINT, Command and MIST and by extended operation capability over longer range enabling the platform to perform a wide range of military or civilian missions over land and sea. The UAS is 26 feet long with 44 foot wingspan, can reach speeds of up to 220 miles per hour and fly over 30,000 feet of altitudes. The Aeronautics Defense Dominator XP costs $3.75 million per unit. The RQ-21 Blackjack. Another product of in situ, the RQ-21 Blackjack fills the required need of the US Navy for a small tactical unmanned aircraft system designed to operate off both land and sea. The rapid transition between land and maritime environments set the Blackjack apart. Blackjack's open payload architecture is customized with imagers, communication systems, electronic warfare, signals intelligence capabilities and other tools to give the warfighter a look ahead in all operational environments. It measures over 8 feet end to end and has a wingspan of 16 feet. Its maximum takeoff weight is 131 pounds. It flies for over 16 hours on end and can reach speeds up to 105 miles per hour. The RQ-21 Blackjack is worth 5.3 million dollars per unit. The RQ-170 Sentinel. This one is shrouded in secrecy. There's not a lot of confirmed information out there, other than it's produced by Lockheed Martin. Operated by the US Air Force and a central intelligence agency, plays a hand in hand what it's used for. It strikes an uncanny resemblance to the B-2 Spirit, as both are designed for stealth purposes. What we do know is that the 13th Reconnaissance Squadron at Creech Air Force Base, Nevada, operates the RQ-170 Sentinel. The 6 million price tag is more hearsay and unconfirmed reports from aviation professionals. Then it's hard fact. Still, there's no question the RQ-170 
whatever it is used for is not cheap. So the RQ170 Sentinel costs you around $6 million per unit. The Boeing A160 Hummingbird. In its military designation, it's the MQ-18 Hummingbird, but however you prefer to refer to it. The Hummingbird is a UAV helicopter, but it's one of the more dated UAVs on this list and its military use was quite short-lived. The MQ-18 was initially funded by the US Army and US Navy, but by 2012 the program was cancelled, citing extensive delays and maintenance issues. Vibration of the aircraft was a continual problem. The Hummingbird was 35 feet long, with a rotor diameter of 36 feet. It had an impressive 24-hour endurance and could reach altitudes of 30,000 feet. The Boeing A160 Hummingbird costs you $6.3 million per unit. The MQ-8 Fire Scout. Designed by Northrop Grunman, the MQ-8 Fire Scout is an autonomous helicopter system that provides real-time intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance and target acquisition, laser designation and battle management to tactical users without relying on manned aircraft or space-based assets. The Fire Scout maintains an endurance time over 11 hours, measures 34.7 feet long, 8.7 feet wide and 10.3 feet tall. It's labeled as a force protection multiplier due to its increased hover surveillance time. Its first flight was in 2000 and it served with the US Navy ever since. The MQ-8 Fire Scout costs $15 million per unit. The Tails Watchkeeper WK450. The British Army uses the Watchkeeper for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance. Its first flight was in 2010, but it didn't reach initial operability until 2018. Although there are reports that it was used in Afghanistan as early as 2014. The UAV is a joint venture from Elbit Systems and Tails Group and is based off the Elbit Hermes 450. The Tails Watchkeeper WK450 is capable of remaining in air for upwards of 17 hours. The Tails Watchkeeper is priced at $16.6 .6 <coughs> million dollars per unit. The MQ-1B Predator. From the US Air Force, the MQ-1B Predator is an armed, multi-mission, medium-altitude, long-endurance, remotely piloted aircraft that is employed primarily as an intelligence collection asset and secondarily against the dynamic execution of targets. Given its significant loiter time, wide-range sensors, multi-mode communication suite and precision weapons, it provides a unique capability to perform strike, coordination and reconnaissance against high value fleeting and time sensitive targets. The MQ-1B is 27 feet long with a 55 foot wingspan. Its max speed is north of 140 miles per hour and it has a range of 770 miles. The MQ-1B Predator is produced by General Atomics and is priced at $20 million per unit. The Northrop Grumman Firebird. This one is something of a hybrid. The Northrop Grunman Firebird can be flown by a pilot autonomously or remotely, making it an OPV, optional piloted vehicle. Its predominant capability is its versatility. Obviously, the manner of piloting the aircraft is quite versatile, but its payload configuration, line of sight or beyond line of sight operations and surveillance reconnaissance give it next level versatility. The Firebird's first flight was in 2010. It's 34.5 feet long with a huge 6074 wingspan. It has a 45 cubic foot internal weapons bay and can take off with more than 7000 pounds to its name. It can really increase value with its extended range time of 30 hours or more. The Northrop Grunman Firebird is worth 20 million dollars per unit. The Dassault Neuron. The Neuron is an experimental combat UAV designed and spearheaded by Dassault Aviation but it's done so in accordance with several European nations. The design, innovations and technological experience gained from France's latest UAV is meant to be shared with the nations of Greece, Italy, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland. So those countries can go on to produce their own remotely or autonomously piloted aircraft. The Dassault Neuron, which is designed to function in combat zones, is 31 feet long with a 41 foot wingspan. It reaches a maximum speed well over 600 miles per hour and is priced at $25 million per unit. The Elbit Hermes 900. According to the folks over at Elbit Systems, Hermes 900 is our next generation multi-role male UAS. It features over the horizon persistent multi-mission, multi-payload capabilities with a class-leading payload carrying capacity of 350 kilos. 
The Hermes 900 is capable of performing missions for area dominance and persistent ISTAR intelligence surveillance target acquisition and reconnaissance. The medium altitude long endurance drone is 27 feet long with a 49 foot wingspan and a maximum speed of roughly 145 miles per hour. It has quite a long endurance time as well, capable of staying in the air for a day and a half. The Albert Hermes 900 is priced at $25 million per unit. The CASC CH5 Rainbow. The Rainbow line of UAVs has been China's best offering in remotely piloted aircraft. The latest, the CH5 Rainbow, is a product of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. It's a UAV designed for combat sequences and is operated by both China and Saudi Arabia. Several sources have likened the CH5 to the American MQ-9 Reaper in terms of both form and function. However, Chinese officials out it as being half the price of the Reaper. The CH5 has been in service since 2017. Its exact specifications are unknown, but as we said, it's quite similar to the MQ9, which you will read about shortly. CASC CH5 Rainbow is worth 30 million per unit. The IAI Eaton. The Israeli born UAV is a big one. It's a large drone that is shrouded in secrecy. Its capabilities and specifications aren't verified. What we do know is that it has a very high ceiling, a very long endurance time and is a verified beast in terms of ordnance carrying capabilities. It's reported to fly as high as 45,000 feet as long as 72 hours and can carry a wide array of munitions. It's roughly 45 feet long with an 86 foot wingspan, can take off at a max weight of nearly 12,000 pounds and reach speeds of north 250 miles per hour. The Eaton is worth 35 million dollars per unit. The Norinco Sky Saker. Chinese weapons producer Norinco usually dabbles in armored vehicles and small arms, but their newest venture into UAVs is represented by the brand new Sky Saker. China expects to field the Sky Saker in the next few years, and Pakistan is reportedly interested in the drone as well. The Norinco Sky Saker is loosely based off the Chengdu pterodactyl. Its intelligence surveillance reconnaissance role will be augmented by attack capabilities the likes of which are not publicly now. The Norinco Skysaker is worth $55 million per unit. The MQ-9 Reaper. Representing the ninth iteration of the MQ series of remotely piloted aircraft, the MQ-9 Reaper is an armored multi-mission medium altitude long endurance remotely piloted aircraft that is employed primarily against dynamic execution targets and secondarily as an intelligence collection asset. The Reaper is based off the MQ-1 Predator and can be transported in a C-130 Hercules. These are currently as many as 93 MQ-9 Reapers in service with the US Air Force. It is 36 feet long with a 66 foot wingspan, can fly up to 1,150 miles and has a service ceiling north of 50,000 feet. It entered service in 2007 and the MQ-9 Reaper is worth $64 million per unit. The EADS Talarian. European Aeronautic Defense and Space Company, or EADS for short, began producing the Talarian in 2008. A mock-up version was displayed at the 2009 Paris Air Show, followed by its first flight in 2015 and its official introduction into the service in 2018. The EADS Talarian is a male UAV that has primary duties in ISR, but can attach payloads if necessary. The Talarian measures 32 feet long with a monstrous 96 foot wingspan. It reaches a maximum speed of 400 miles and has a range of nearly 10,000 miles with a service ceiling of 50,000 feet. The EADS Talarian is worth $80 million per unit. The Turkish Aerospace Anka. According to Turkish Aerospace, the Anka is an advanced medium altitude long endurance or MAIL class unmanned aerial system. Performs day and night all weather reconnaissance, target detection, identification, and intelligence missions with its EO, IR, and SAR payloads. Futuring autonomous flight capability, including automatic takeoff landing, the Anka is an autonomous piloted aircraft that measures 26 feet long with a 57 foot wingspan. It's capable of remaining in flight for 24 hours and has a service ceiling of 30,000 feet. The Turkish Aerospace Anka is worth $100 million per unit. The MQ-4C Trident. Based on the RQ-4 Global Hawk, which you will read about soon, the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Trident is the US Navy's premier UAV. It is an ISR system that is piloted autonomously but requires a five-person crew. 
Those roles are air vehicle operator, tactical coordinator, two mission payload operators, SIGINIT coordinator, the 46 foot long 130 foot wingspan aircraft is powered by Rolls Royce AE307H engine, which gives it a max speed of 375 miles per hour and 24 plus hours of endurance. The MQ4C Trident is worth $120 million per unit. The RQ4 Global Hawk. You just read about the Navy adaption, but there is the original build for the Air Force. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high altitude, long endurance, remotely piloted aircraft with an integrated sensor suite that provides global all-weather day or night intelligence. Surveillance and reconnaissance ISR capability. Fun fact, the R is the Department of Defense designation for reconnaissance and Q means unmanned aircraft system. The RQ-4 Global Hawk measures almost identically to the MQ-4C Trident, but is instead fueled by the Rolls-Royce North American F-137 RR100 turbofan engine. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is worth $131 million per unit. The MQ-25 Stingray. The revolutionary MQ-25 Stingray will be the first ever aerial refueling drone in history, set for initial operational status in 2024 in 2018, the US Navy awarded an 804 million contract to the Boeing company to design, development, fabrication, test, delivery and support of four MQ-25A unmanned air vehicles. Aside from looking as slick as can be, the MQ-25 will serve a purpose that very few drones in any military ever have. The MQ-25 Stingray will carry roughly 15,000 pounds of fuel and operate with a maximum range of almost 600 miles. MQ-25 Stingray costs $201 million per unit. The Bay AE Systems Tyrannis. The Celtic God of Thunder Tyrannis is the namesake for this still developing UCAV from BAE Systems. The unmanned combat aerial vehicle rely on stealth and payload versatility once it is in service, which is expected in 2013. A Rolls-Royce Adler engine similar to the ones used in the Salt Neuron will give it speeds in the range of 500 to 700 miles per hour. Its range is unknown. Its flight ceiling should be around 50,000 feet and its dimensions are roughly 40 feet long with a 33 foot wingspan. The Bay AE Systems Tyrannis will be worth $206 million per unit. The Northrop Grumman X-47B. Perhaps one day we will look back on the X-47B as something of a pioneer, if not a guinea pig. The unmanned combat air system is designed to help the US Navy look forward decades down the line to an entire fleet of carrier-based demonstration UAV. The designers refer to it as a tailless strike fighter-sized unmanned aircraft. It has already completed its initial flight. For the first ever autonomous aerial refuel from an Omega K707 tanker and its first launch and land from a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Prototypes were supposed to be retired by now and displayed in a museum, but the Departed of Defense has extended their lifeline for further testing. The X-47B is 38 feet long with a 62 foot wingspan, 31 feet when folded and can reach speeds upwards of 700 miles per hour. The Northrop Grumman X-47B is worth $405 million per unit. And that was it for the list of most expensive military drones that are flying around right now guys. In case we missed one, let us know in the comments and we will feature you in our next video. Make sure to click the video you see in screen now. Find out what these military drones are armed with by clicking the video you see in screen right now.